Hello guys and girls, it's Scotty Robs again. Um, we're about to take out the old graphics card. I had a GTX 960 2GB. And now I thought I'd do a video show you how easy it is to uninstall and install a new card. This little blue thing on my wrist is an anti-static band. As long as it's connected to the case, yeah, it stops any static travelling from your body in the, into the components. That will stop you killing your computer. So it's free quid, free 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 fifty on eBay. Not a big deal, but it's really important because uh, any any static like when you sort of touch someone, you get a shock, or you touch a wall, you get a shock, or even metal. If that was happened to anything on this in this computer, it's stone cold dead. It's game over. And as you just cost yourself a few hundred quid. Right. As far as it comes to uninstalling, you come this way. Yeah. There's two screws here. One. You probably need a bit of light. I'll give it a flash on in a second. That's one screw. Always keep your screws safe because you're going to need them again. Two screws. Sometimes the graphic cards have a bigger back plates than, than the other ones, so we might have to take off another couple of things. At the moment, two should be fine. This is just to take this one out. We're going to unplug the power. Now, at the moment, my box is not connected to any power at all, so there's no risk of shocks, so there's no risk of tapping. Make sure you do that before you start. Uh, yeah, this is quite simple. Pull it out, that's done. That's your power socket lead. Sometimes you need eight, sometimes you need six. Sometimes you can need more from what I hear. I don't know, the G, uh, G1080, GTX 1080. But for this, is this is just a six for this one. There's a little clip. Right, once once the power's out, there's a little clip down here. Reach in, use your finger. You'll see it. Push that down. And then this card should just release. There we go. That's out. So that's that one gone. She's done me well. She's done me really, really well. Uh, let me change it over. Put that down. Right, this is our new GTX 1070, obviously. Beautiful card. We're going to take the plastic off it. There's no reason for that to be on there. Uh, this one goes in this way. Yeah? So you want the screw holes at the top. To obviously be on show so you know what you put it into. This back plate's a little bit wider. So what I'm gonna have to do is take the other panel out. So leave that there for a second. Come back over here. Unscrew. Unscrew this. Just to make sure it's better to do too many than not enough. I might get away with this to two open, but I don't want to have to start fiddling about a bit. What is this done? Just drop that. <laughs> Nothing important, thankfully. Now, before you put your graphic card in, before you put your graphics card in, you have to make sure to take the safety connector off. Yeah, so that goes down the side. You have to make sure there's nothing else attached to your card. You worry about. You can pull them off afterwards. We'll pull them off now, we'll get it done. There's two HDMI ones next. Now, I bought my graphics card from Scan and it comes with a warranty that uh, 12, if you pay £12 extra, if you break it or kill it as you're installing it, uh, they replace it for your charge. So now this is the bit we have to make sure. You're lined up with the original snot. This bit's quite finicky. Pause it for a second. Right, so yeah, so you slide it down, line it up with the sockets, make sure there's no wires touching. Push it in so it clicks. A little bit of thing. It's, it's a big old card, but it's nice. That clicked in nicely. Get our screws, what we took out a minute ago. We put one straight in here. Let's use our hands and get that in. We'll 
have to so you get your center screw in so the center screw holds it in place tighten that up like that and your card is in place that's the socket it's all done in looking lovely now the last thing you have to do is get your power source so your power source is this bit it should feed itself together one way or another looks like that way and then you should slide it in it only goes in one way so try the first way that doesn't work spin it around and go again we now have power so that's well done she's connected in to she's connected into the little slots down the back so they look the same as these things line up with these and then she's got her one screw in one screw will be fine i could put another screw in there i'm actually going to do that in a second uh, just to make it sure it's cool i can put the spare panel bit back in because i didn't take it off in the end if you look down the side you've got all your different ports you need and that's well done the next video you will see is when um the power's on and we have a little go of first impressions i guess Right, but thank you for watching. Um, please like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions or any, want any information, please feel free to ask. Um, have a good day. Stay blessed. Just a little quick video to add to it. Look at that. Lights up, lovely. The whole fucking GTX uh, bit lights up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.